figures. I would get home, start to vlog, and Jared calls. One second. All right, so that phone call took way longer than it's expected. But I will tell you something really cool that I found out um, that I haven't gotten to tell you guys yet. So Jared got, um, for those who don't know, Jared is my boyfriend. Um, he was a CP um, that worked with me at Philhar. Anyway, I won't go into that. So, um, he got a internship offer. Well, they haven't offered it to him. He has an opportunity to apply. He has an opportunity, um, f for, it's a Disney internship for this summer, um, for his major. And so he just applied, I think it was yesterday, for it. And so he's, he's one of those really annoying, oops, I forgot to mute this. He's really one, he's one of those really annoying smart people. So, I have a feeling he's going to get it, but fingers crossed. Here's, <clears throat> here's praying and hoping that he gets it so that way I'll get to step in time with him all this summer instead of just little bits here and there. Anyway, so I wanted to tell you guys about um, my production shift. This is the first week. I just finished my first week off training. And um, I can't remember if I told you guys about floor stock register um, and uh, production. But I'm going to tell you guys a really quick little general you know, kind of like, you know, insight on what it's like, like to work at the circus. So, if you have a floor stock shift, basically what floor stock shift is, is you just walk around the store and you fill, like you have a specific zone. Um, the store is divided into different zones. And you have to fill up that zone. Um, fill up, like, you know, whatever's missing. Like, if there's a Mickey Mouse missing, you need to put him, like, a plushie up there. Um, or if the displays don't look nice, like if the clothes are kind of like folded the wrong way or not on the right hanger, then you have to fix that. Um, you can also help the register people for finding more um, things that may not be in stock uh, or that aren't displayed. Like if there is, like we may have some that's like backstage or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> register is basically, you have two different options. Basically you're, excuse me, you have three different options. You're either going to be a hat embroiderer you're going to be a, you know, register at either the candy case line, which is like in the center of the store, or in one of the, um, animal train stations, um, or you can actually be a greeter, because that's what the, we have a greeter at the front of the store, and then we have a greeter at the Silly Pete's exit, which I have a cute little story to tell you real quick. Um, so, both of my register shifts, the first thing I pulled was Silly Pete exit greeter and on the second day um Minnie and Daisy you can see kind of see when they um go on stage um from that exit you can see them walk there with the character attendants and I was playing with a Mickey plushie and Minnie I saw the corner of her eye she saw me playing with Mickey plushie she ran over and started kissing him and loving him and playing with him um on stage but the store wasn't really busy this day and so I got to kind of play around with Minnie um that was pretty cool but anyway um and so you can do that uh, as register. You get to be a greeter, and there's games you get to play, and it's really, really cool. Production, um, basically, if you didn't know, I'll, I think I've mentioned this before, but everything that's a Silly Pete or um, Big Top Souvenirs, all of the treats we make ourselves, um, there's very little that we don't make that's prepackaged. Um, pretty much everything we make on our own there in the kitchen on stage or backstage. And so that's basically what you do. You go in and they gave you a sheet of what you're supposed to make that day. Um, both my production days I was supposed to make uh, specialty apples which is basically anything other than a caramel apple. And then the next day I was, today I was supposed to make caramel apples. Well they already made like normally you have like an opener and you have the mid person and then you have the closer. The opener starts off making or setting up whatever needs to be made for that day. The mid person tries to make as many as they possibly can of whatever it is, like basically continuing what the opener started and kind of like getting ahead for the closer. And then the closer finishes off whatever the goal is that was needed that day. Um, yesterday was the closer, and I did not appreciate it <laughs> because they gave me very little time to finish doing what I was supposed to do and then they gave me a little time to actually clean because I was supposed to be out earlier than expected and I had a short shift to begin with and so yesterday was not a very good day I was really stressed out they ended up keeping me longer than I was supposed to and I wasn't really happy but today 
I had a mid shift. I did, wasn't. It was early, but um, it was from ten to like six, and so I got to finish up um, actually what the caramel apple people were doing. Cause the opener had like pretty much done everything that needed to get done because not much needed to get done that day, and I got to make um, chocolate covered strawberries, which we're doing football strawberries because the Super Bowl's coming up. Then I got to make pineapple, chocolate covered pineapple, so because those were really, really busy for whatever reason. Like, literally, we would make it and it would be sold, like, two seconds later. Then I made, what's a really cool fact, is we actually make cotton candy for Tomorrowland. So all the cotton candy you get from Tomorrowland is actually made at the circus. And we also make a lot of the treats for the Frontierland treat store. I can't remember what the store is called. And we call it a prairie order. Um, and they basically order a certain amount of treats that they need to be sold or for them to sell. And we make them and then send them over to them the next day that morning. And so I made, we needed, uh, or they needed, uh, what we call mallows, which are basically the marshmallow treats on a straw stick. And so I made the entire order of mallows. It had like 30, 30 this, 10 of that, da 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 and um, I made all those all by myself, and I was really proud because I had never made mallows before. It's basically marshmallows covered in chocolate, but they had, um, they had, they wanted Mickey Mouse ones, they wanted um, M and M ones, and then they wanted regular drizzled ones. And I made all those by myself, and I was really proud of myself. Um, but yeah, and I actually got to make some of the first uh, football strawberries of the year because they just started making them today, and I was the first one to start on it. So I was like, yay! Anyway. Um, so that was pretty cool. Other than that, nothing much is going on. I have decided that, um, since we are allowed to explain to the guests how we make our treats, that I'm going to do a kind of like little how-to video for our cake pops. And, um, probably something, the cake pops are the easiest in my opinion and one of my favorite treats to make. But we, I might do some mallows because the girls get marshmallows all the time. So I'll show, might show you how to make those too. But that'd be a really cool like little vlog to do. So coming up soon, I don't know when we're gonna do something like that. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up. Jared told me he just sent his my gift today, and I'm finishing up his gift. The girls, I may do something for them. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I think I'm gonna do something. I have a general idea what I'm gonna do for them for Valentine's Day. Um, Emily and I might go. Well, Emily may drag me to go see Fifty Shades of Grey. Whatever. Anyway, um, this video is going to get kind of long, so I'm going to kind of leave it at that. Uh, if, sorry if the videos have been late. Um, it's just been really crazy. Emily and I have had really weird hours lately, and there's been a lot with taxes and other things that we've had to do lately, so we haven't really had time to like upload stuff, so we've been busy. But the next couple videos should be coming out really quick, so go watch them right now.